Hello children, welcome to Acknowledge series by Amit Publications. I am Achal Sethi and I will be taking up the computer series for class 1. Now this is your book, let's click a trendy way to learn computers. And today we will begin with chapter number 4 which is understanding keyboard. Right children? Now as we use a pencil or a pen to write in your notebooks, same way we need a keyboard to write anything on the computer. Okay? So, uh, writing on a computer is called typing. Let us study about this in detail. What is keyboard? It is used to write anything on a computer. It is called Typing. Whenever you write anything on the computer with the help of the keyboard, pressing its keys, it is called typing, right? A keyboard has many buttons as you can see here. These are all the buttons. These are all small buttons that are called keys. We press these buttons to type on the computer, okay? Let us learn about all these keys in detail, right children? Now, first of all, what we see here, these are number keys. You know about numbers, 0 to 9, these are the digits. And for writing these digits on the computer, writing numbers on the computer, we use these number keys, right? So, some keys have numbers 0 to 9 written on them. You can see here, numbers are written 1, 2, 3. call them numeric keys. Right children? There are 10 of these. There are total 10 number keys. Also, these keys are present on the right side of the computer. See? There are two sets of numeric keys. One is on the top side. See here, these are the numeric keys and there is also one more set available which is on the right side of your keyboard. This is called a numeric keypad and it works only when the num lock key is on. You see here, this is a num lock key. Whenever it is on, you can use this numeric keyboard. Right children? Now, we will talk about space bar key. This is the longest key that you see on the keyboard. See, this is a space bar key. To add blank spaces between letters or words. Just like you leave some space while writing in your notebook, this space bar key is used to leave some blank spaces between letters or words that you are typing on the computer, right? So every time you press this key, a blank space comes. Let's see this example. The cursor, this blinking line is called a cursor. So my cursor is here. When I press the space bar key, it shifts one place to the right. Okay, it leaves this space so that I can continue with my next word here with a blank space in between. Right? So what does the password say? It says when we type, we see a blinking line on the screen. It is called a cursor. Very good. Now let's talk about the Enter key. This key comes in different shapes. Right children? So it is used to start a new line or a paragraph. While you are writing, if you wish to continue writing in the next line or the next paragraph you want to begin, then we use the enter key. Right? And a keyboard has two enter keys. Let me show you. One is here and one is right beside the numeric keypad. Okay, so we have two enter keys on the keyboard. Now, we have some arrow keys also present on the keyboard. What do we use it for? We use it for moving the cursor. This blinking line that we call a cursor, these arrow keys are used 
down the and as i can as you can see the cursor has moved just below where it was at the previous position right now there are some special keys also on the keyboard right a backspace key and a delete key children you might have noticed that whenever you write sometimes you do make mistakes right then what you do you use an eraser same way while typing on the computer we might make mistakes so for this purpose we have backspace and the delete key the backspace key is used to erase anything typed on the left side of the cursor see here this is computer and my cursor is placed here when i press the backspace key it deletes the letter that is to the left of the cursor which is letter e so see here the letter e is erased right children same way if you want to erase anything that is typed on the right side of the cursor so then we use the delete key very good now see here my cursor is placed here the alphabet that is to the right of the cursor is r and when i press the delete key this r gets erased is it clear children backspace key deletes the letter that is to the left of the cursor and delete key erases the character to the right of it is it clear children very good so now let us quickly recall whatever we have done in this chapter alphabet keys are used to type letters words and sentences same way the number keys are used to type numbers the space bar key is used to add blank spaces between letters words or numbers the enter key is used to start a new line or a paragraph arrow keys are used for moving the cursor up down left right on the monitor screen right now the backspace key is used to erase anything typed on the left side of the cursor and the delete key is used to delete anything that is on the right side of the cursor is it clear children so let's move on to the exercises take out your pencils we will do this together okay so the first question says what are the buttons on a keyboard known as what do we call the buttons is it the letter number keys or none of these yes we call them keys these are the small buttons on the keyboard now which of these keys is used to start a new line for starting a new line we use the enter key right children okay now which key is used to erase anything typed on the left side of the cursor for erasing the left side we use the backspace key very good right children now let's quickly fill this omr sheet for the first one we have the answer as c so we will fill this bubble that has c written on it right for the question number 2 we have c is the answer we will fill the bubble again that has c written on it and for the third question we have the answer as a so we will fill this bubble have you all done this much children let's proceed further now this question says fill in the blanks with the correct words these are the hints that are given to us and we will use them to fill our blanks first question says dash is the longest key on the keyboard now you all tell me which one is the longest key on the keyboard yes it is the space bar key so we will write space bar this is the longest key on the keyboard right children question number 2 says the dash key comes in different shapes so which key comes in different shapes exactly the enter key enter key comes in different shapes 
third part says there are dash alphabet keys on a keyboard so you tell me how many keys are there on the on the keyboard alphabet keys there are 26 alphabets so we have 26 alphabet keys on the keyboard right now we have arrow keys are also known as dash keys what do we call them we call them cursor control keys or direction keys also we call them cursor control we will write cursor control here right children very good now let's proceed with these questions answer the following questions first question says what is the use of spacebar key tell me what is the use of a spacebar key a spacebar key is used to leave a blank space between two numbers or words right now what is the use of enter key when do we use an enter key children we use it when we want to move on to the next line or the next paragraph so we will write enter key is used to move the cursor to the next line or a paragraph right and what is the use of a backspace key Right? It is used to delete a character to the left of the cursor. Right children? Is it clear? Very good. So that was all for this chapter. Stay elated for the next video children. Bye bye.